Hey everyone, this is Austin Schur here with We Write About Music, and today I'm here with Samantha Gongle. She has just released her debut single titled My Own Prison, and I am super excited to talk to her all about it. Samantha, thank you so much for coming on today. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me on here. I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Good to hear it. What part of the world are you in at the moment? Uh, right now, I'm in Los Angeles. I've been out here for a few years now. So. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's where I'm from. <laughs> so it's it's a pretty solid place. Can be hectic at times for sure, but you know. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but if you want to, you know, be an entertainer and a musician and an actress, then I'd say it's a pretty good spot to start. Yes, yeah, place to be. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, let's hop right into it. I want to talk all about all about your song. First thing I want to talk about really is the lyrics. I'd love for you to sort of give a background on what it's all about and what people can expect from it. So, um, well, the inspiration to write it came from just over the years hearing about the internal struggles all of my friends are going through. So my own prison was made to relate to anything anyone might be going through. So I I purposely wrote the lyrics to be vague and ambiguous so they could really be about anything. It's it's open to interpretation. In my in my music video, I play a version of myself who's um like stuck in a bad relationship, but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be about that. It could be about addiction or mental illness or really it's it's up to the listener. That's really nice. Yeah, I sort of got that feeling that it was not just about one subject, which is kind of nice. I, I think it's different when you're writing music for yourself and it's more of that personal experience, but more like when anyone listens to music, they're making their own connections, which is also a plus. Right, yeah. Definitely. Um, so I want to talk about the production on it as well, because it sounds amazing. Like the song itself is great, but like, it, you know, when a music just sounds really good, just everything is going yeah, right yeah, in the yeah, background <laughs> it feels very intimate in a way uh did you produce this track did you have any outside help putting it together what's sort of the story there i did not produce it but um i i actually have been meeting with a vocal coach his name is uh david kidd he um co-wrote the song with me and produced it i i recorded it with him he mixed it master produced everything that's really cool what was his name sorry uh, David Kidd. David Kidd. Awesome. Well, he did an amazing job. And I think, I think just like making music in general is like half the battle is creating it, and putting the lyrics together. But if you don't have a producer that kind of can get inside your head and your brain and figure things out, mm -hmm. then you've got nothing. The whole production side is a whole other world. So I don't blame you. It definitely is. <laughs> well, so this is sort of the obvious question because this is your first official single. But I love this one and now I kind of want more. So is there more in the works? You don't have to give too much away if there isn't, but you can say what you want here. <laughs> and, you know, there are definitely more in the works. Um, I have one that I'm getting ready to release as soon as possible. I just want to, you know, film a music video for it. Yeah. So this next, this next one is going to be a bit heavier. It's going to be more my sound. Because my own prison is more more of a ballad yeah but i but really i'm interested in being you know a rock a rock artist a rock singer so so my next song is definitely going to represent that more that's awesome that it's like really i i like i'm trying to envision it in a way because i don't know when someone puts out a first single it's like you know like you're showing yourself to the world but at the same time you don't want to sort of like pigeonhole yourself into one sound right because yeah, yeah. then you're like oh she only makes this she only makes that so mm -hmm. that's really yeah. cool well yeah definitely looking forward to that whenever it may come but let's you know <laughs> want to focus on this very very do soon you, i'm hoping to <laughs> do you work on songs in batches or do you like try to focus on one at a time um really it's a little bit of both i i write one at a time but i might um I might have a bunch written and then record, you know, multiple at a time. But yeah, no normally I write one at a time, but I'll record maybe one or two in in the over the course of sense. a few weeks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone's yeah. got their own process. I get that. Um, now, in terms of like inspirations and who you grew up listening to, who your parents had had on in the car. 
is there anyone specifically that you were channeling while you were trying to make this song or was this just like an original thing yourself well well with my own prison like i said it's very different from the other songs i yeah. plan on releasing but my main influences are journey and like steve perry and uh stevie nicks and fleetwood mac mm -hmm. but um I feel like my next songs are going to have a more modern feel. So I think my next songs are going to start sounding more like a, like Paramore. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. A complete 180 in sound. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Well, now I'm even more excited for the future stuff. I probably <laughs> didn't like this because let me make it clear I did. But as a, <laughs> as a huge Paramore fan for a long time, definitely could use more of that um so for for everyone that doesn't know you don't just sing you also act so i kind of want to know what was what was like you're like you know I'm, I'm digging this acting thing but also i'm a pretty badass singer too like what was the switch, <laughs> what was the thing to make you be like i'm gonna pursue this um well really i've been doing acting and singing for a few years now. I I started taking acting classes when I was nine and I started coming out here when I was 10 because originally I came out here to be an actress, but singing was what got me where I am today. Okay. So, yeah, I, um, so it's just I've been, been singing at the same always. time, but yeah, yeah, it's a mix of both. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So then in the, like the grand scheme of entertainment, like everything that you do, is there something specifically that you enjoy the most about being an artist and a creative as a whole? Yeah, really, I I enjoy all of it. Um, I I'd have to say one of my favorite parts is um, performing live. I just yeah. I've always loved singing, so being able to perform live in front of other people is just it's. It's awesome, honestly. <laughs> totally. I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it's different for a lot of people. A lot of people are like, you know, I like the singing part, or not the singing, I like the writing part, I like the recording part. Like, And then there's the people that don't even want to play live. They just want to be like in the background, more on the production side. But I feel if I had any musical abilities to play live in front of a concert or in front of people, that there would be no bigger adrenaline rush to like you doing something and sing instant feedback. Yeah, that, and that's that's why I love performing live so much. It's a, like I said, it's a huge adrenaline rush. And, you know, I'm, I'm still nervous, obviously, before I perform live, yeah. but but it's just the adrenaline that gets me through it. And I'm just, and I'm always just excited to be doing it. Yeah, no, I, I completely get it. <laughs> and so like, as we see you release more music, even if it's singles, even if it's like short EPs or something like that, is touring under your own name and like having a local show something that either you want to do or something that's in the works in the hopefully near future? I I definitely hope to be touring at some point. Yeah. Um, once once I can like get out and perform at at other venues, that I, I definitely plan on doing that. Awesome, awesome, and yeah, like. I, like I said, I'm trying to get in ahead of the rock stuff because don't get me wrong, ballads can definitely, you know, bring a room together. There's nothing like a mosh pit at a Paramore concert. So <laughs> now, um, now there's no wrong answers here, but what do you think that your music says about you as a whole? Maybe not even on the single, but I suppose just overall. Well, overall, I feel like my music is just made to represent me and who I am as a person. It's a way for me to connect with other people. Yeah. So, yeah, all, all of my music is very personal to me. It's all, and all of my songs are written about personal experiences I've had. So, like I said, it's really just how people can know me. That's great. No, it's, it's tough because, especially being an artist and writing and you know, a lot of people end up hearing your music, but they don't know you as a person. So you have to make yourself really vulnerable to like, mm -hmm. be like, well, I don't know Samantha, but I feel like I know her. And that's the problem with so many mega artists who like bear their souls 
And then people think that they're best friends with them because they like their song about whatever breakup they had or something like that. So right, right. <laughs> pretty complicated. Um, <laughs> so yeah. And so like now that shows are coming back. Um, do you have any tickets for any shows? Is there anything like any like major events that are coming up that you're looking forward to just like in your personal time? Honestly, I I haven't even like had time to look at any shows. I you know, I'm, I love going concerts, sure. going to uh, concerts, parents too, because, you know, we go to like the old rock concerts that, oh, you yeah. know, I, I get to see the enjoyed listening to since I was little. And, you know, they're just, there's also new music that I love listening to. So, yeah, really, if, really just if I go online and just find any concert, I just immediately get excited about it. And, um, even if I'm not able to see it, I'm just, sure. I'm just pumped. going to concerts again. I mean, we are in the music capital of the world, so, you know, there's no shortage, but, but the time will come, the time will come. And it looks like in a couple months or so, there's just a concert every day at this point. So something to look forward to. Um, yeah. Hypothetically speaking is if you had to pick one artist, performer, producer, anything like that to collaborate with on any amount of music, uh, who would it be? I would honestly say Stevie Nicks. I've, I've been a fan of yeah. her and Fleetwood Mac since I was like three. So I'm honestly getting to collab with her would be amazing. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Where, what would you have her do? Would you have her like on the songwriting or I don't know? I would like I'd love to perform with her honestly I'd love sure. to record a song and like perform it live with her that would be just unbelievable. Nice. Okay so then in a dream world perfect world no restrictions all's good <laughs> what does the next year of your life look like? Well I'd, I'd hope to release more music and perform live more. I'd love to tour across the U.S. and just you know see what it's even like to be on tour. Yeah. Like, honestly, that would just be that would be very fun. <laughs> Touring seems like the type of thing that you witness in a movie or a TV show and it's like the most glamorous right. like romanticized event ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah yeah. I feel, and I feel like it's not too far off from like, you know, the real, the real thing. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Yes, de yeah. definitely. definitely. Um, okay, so we are like a little over two thirds of the way through this year, which is wild. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Setting <laughs> the music aside for just a moment, are there any personal goals that you've set for yourself that you've either hit or something that you're working towards just as a person for this year? Uh, well, I've been focusing a lot on school too. Um, I hope to transfer to UCLA at, at some point uh, next year, but right now I'm taking college classes so I can um, transfer as a junior. So right now I'm, I've, I just graduated high school back in December, but right now I'm a sophomore in college because I've actually graduated with the, with the year out of the way already. So I'm That's just hoping awesome. to... I'm hoping to work on my major too and just you know stay focused with school as well nice so yeah i'm assuming that uh school just takes up all your time and drains all your energy at this it point it takes up a lot of my time i have like one free week in the past like few months and all my fall classes start monday so nice and like who needs who needs friends you know what i mean who needs friends right. you can just spend like, all your who time needs a social school? life i have I have all my school. <laughs> yeah, and just like talking to me for 15 to 20 minutes, like, yeah, thanks for taking the time out of your day. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a couple more questions for you at this point, and I want to thank you for your time right now again. But oh, no. because I'm we're, happy to be here. Thank you. Because we're a music <laughs> fan, and we're always trying to turn people on to independent artists, local bands, even, you know, mainstream artists. Is there anyone that you can shout out Either, either friends or anyone that's doing big things or just like, what are you listening to in general? Uh, well, right now I'm actually kind of getting into more synth pop music. 
like I've just been listening to that a lot lately. Um, there's this one uh, artist that I'm a big fan of uh, called The Midnight. And okay. I think they've been forming around here in LA for a few months now, but I, but I heard their music just playing like out somewhere. And I just, I remember hearing it and thinking, wow, this sounds like something straight out of the eighties. Like it sounds That's so awesome. cool. So I went and like searched and just found more of their music. So I've been playing their stuff on a loop for a good year or so now. That's really cool. They're called The Midnight. I, I don't think I've ever heard Midnight, of them, yes. but uh, I've got nothing to do after this. So I'm <laughs> definitely going to check them out. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. So this is my last question for you. This is how I like to wrap all these things up. Basically, I want to know for the person that is going to discover you from this and for the person that is going to listen to your song for the first time, what is an opening message that you would like to pass off to them? Um. You know, like I said before, uh, I, you know, I want people who listen to my to my songs to know me as a person, but I also want to inspire them to be more creative too. You know, I, you know, I want to, I want, I want to encourage people to write music on their own and share it as well. You know, I, you know, I feel like there just needs to be more music in the world to me. So I want to inspire people to do the same. I think that's a great answer, and you're right. There's, there's even though there's so much music, and no one could ever there's possibly so much music, but it, there could always be more. <laughs> just it's about putting positive, optimistic art into right, the world, right? And right. that's just what everyone needs. So I think that's great. Uh, everyone who is listening or watching, however you are consuming this interview, check out my own prison. It's amazing, seriously. And stay tuned for more because it sounds like there's a lot more on the way, big things coming. And Samantha, I sincerely thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. You're a busy person, and this is this was great. That <laughs> thank we you. I'm, up. I'm like I said, I'm very happy to be here. Awesome. Well, I hope that shows happen, and I hope that you play in LA because I will definitely be there. Cool. I I hope so too. <laughs> awesome. All right. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope that we talk soon. Definitely, definitely. Right. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.